Hey people, welcome to the Run Testers, and I'm about to take the brand new Innovate Trail Fly for a first run on the trails by the Thames. It's been raining a lot out there, so it's going to be choppy and sloppy underfoot. So hopefully a good test for Innovate's latest shoe in the Trail Fly line. It's designed for training runs and longer races on hard and rocky ground. So let's go and take a look how it does on this first run. Some quick details then, and the Trail Fly comes with deeper cushioning and a bigger drop than the Trailfly Speed Sibling that also launched alongside this shoe. So it has an overall stack of 29 mils in the heel, 23 mils in the forefoot for a six mil drop. There are four mil lugs strategically placed for grip and to help with speedier toe offs. Price wise, it will set you back 130 pounds in the UK and $150 in the US. It also comes in a standard or a wide fit. Let's have a quick shoe whip then. The Innovate Trailfly features a graphene infused PowerFlow Pro foam midsole. It's less rocket actually than the Trailfly G270 and surprisingly it's higher stacked than the Trailfly Ultra G300 Max which is obviously a Max cushion shoe but there's a flexible Metashank rock plate in here for added protection on rockier trails plus you've got a toe guard up the front for a buffer against accidental rock kicks and those nasty toe stubs that can happen. Inside the shoe, you've got a six mil thick boomerang TPU footbed. That's there to boost the comfort and that feeling of energy. There's, that's also um, perforated to help with any water that gets in or sort of dissipate any sweat and moisture, that kind of thing. Now up top, you've got an air mesh upper that also comes with some thick met cradle strips, and it calls met cradle strips, to connect the midfoot to the heel. That aims to create a better locked in secure feel when you tighten down your laces. The heel collars here, I'd say, are sort of medium, light to medium padded. The gusseted tongues are really quite more heavily padded. And if you flip the shoes over, you've got the graphene grip outsole that's become standard now on uh, Innovate shoes with strategically placed four mil lugs here that are not only designed to help you grip on descents, but also to get good traction in the toes for speedier and smoother toe offs as well. Fit then, and I ran in a UK eight and a half, which is my regular running shoe size that I go for in Innovate shoes. If I had to describe the fit here, I would say it's nice and snug. There's good foot security over the midfoot. It's very locked down. The heels have no slipping for me. You know, what's interesting is you've got that anatomical toe box, which follows kind of the ultra sort of blueprint. I don't find these hugely roomy in the toe box though. Not, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'd have to go back and put a pair of ultras on. I'm gonna just sort of see for comparison, but I was expecting them to feel a lot more roomy than they do. That's not to say they're restrictive at all. There's, there is good room in the toe box, enough wiggle room. If any, maybe a little bit short towards the ends, I can feel my toes towards the end. So there might be an argument here that if you like a bit more room, a bit more space, you're gonna use them for going ultra on the trails, you're probably gonna want a little bit of extra and you might wanna go half a size up in it if you want just a, a bit more space. So I've just done my first run in the Innovate Trail Flight and I did about five miles just short. So I started out with a 10 minute easy warm up, then I moved up to somewhere around like a six, 10 mile pace for two and a half minutes. And then I dropped back down to try and hit seven minute mile paces for three minutes, then back up again. I'm on quite a tired leg, so I couldn't sustain that interval session as much as I'd like, but I did get to test this shoe out at various different paces. First thing you say when you put them on, they feel firm. They're like a Innovate kind of firm shoe. This is a direct shoe. There's plenty of ground contact coming up through this shoe. The midsole is not squishy, soft, spongy at all. You know, it's a case for some sort of the new sort of super trail shoes that we've got where they're going for softer foams. This is not what you're going to get here from this shoe. Even though when you do the squeeze test, there is a bit of movement in the midsole. When you put them on, what you're getting is a very kind of ground feel ride here. It is very direct. That's not to say it's a bad thing. I'll come on to that in a second. It's built for hard packed sort of trails, compact trails. I've just been running along the Thames path here, which is exactly that. It's very flat, but it's very, very sort of, yeah, it's it's basically compacted kind of um, groomed sort of trail. It was hellish kind of puddly out there. So there's lots of sloppy mud there as well to test the grip. Now, overall, when I was running easy, yeah, I, I feel like this is a shoe that you've got to be willing to sort of clip along quite quickly. You've got to make your kind of foot turn over quite quick to, to, you know, to not feel too much of that kind of ground contact coming up. There's not a huge amount of protection here, I would say, from the midsole from that first run. Caveat, I did that on quite tired and heavy legs, so as we do the review, maybe I'll find that slightly different. Now, when I picked up the pace and started to hit those sort of faster miles, that's when this shoe starts to feel a bit more like a nimble, agile speedy trail shoe it's you know i've come coming off running a lot in a road a lot and a lot of kind of spongy sort of fast 
uh, super road shoes. This isn't like that. It's not going to give you kind of propulsion and that. It's expecting you to do a lot of the work. I quite like that in a shoe where you're having to do the work and this shoe is going to come with you for the ride a little bit and it's going to require you to be moving with kind of fast turnover, clipping your feet along, kind of basically driving into the ground and, and getting off really quickly. When it does that, it does that really well. It is nice and sort of agile and precise on those trails. I found the stability really good because you've got that kind of nice ground contact. You've got the feel coming up. And I was able to pick my way and weave through all the puddles quite nicely with that, with you know good reliability. When I hit sloppier sections, it dealt with those fine. I don't know I'd want to go you know, doing muddy kind of cross country runs in it necessarily. So I was just running mainly flat trails there. Although I did have to do some weaving and bobbing and, and picking my way through and sort of up the sides of the banks to keep my feet out the way of the puddles. But I, I'm kind of excited about taking this onto a sort of weaving trails, downhill steep uphills and all of that kind of stuff because I think it's going to be nice and precise. I think it's going to be really good for picking your way with speed and intent along trails. I think it's going to do a good job for that. Can't wait to get it out there and have a crack at that. Initial thoughts on distance. For me, the way I run, I think the shoe is probably going to be something that I maybe use for up to a couple hours I think I'd want a little bit more protection if I was going longer and doing kind of ultras in them, but that's maybe different. If you're a faster runner, lighter on your feet, better at kind of picking your way, then this shoe probably could do a job for you over longer distances than that, and particularly if you sort of start looking at people kind of higher up the um, the tree than I am. I'm a bit of a slow plodder when it comes to the trails. But yeah, I will do a summary verdict back in the office. Verdict then, and my initial first impressions of the Innovate Trail Fly have been pretty positive from that first run. It feels like a grippy, nimble, sprightly shoe with a middling, firm, kind of direct ride that performed well on that first run, tackling the hard, compacted, but entirely flat trails along the Thames. Now, if you like your trail shoes well connected to the ground, there is lots of ground feel here. I'd be interested to see if the midsole softens any of you sort of more miles once you kind of break it in a bit more. I think a little extra protection here wouldn't go amiss from the shoe, particularly if you're thinking about using it for taking on longer trail runs. If you're kind of heavier running, you're not quite so light for, for times over like three or four hours. But for blast for a few hours, there's a nice lightness to the ride and they held up well in the sloppy conditions on that first run. And they offered good reliable stability on that flatter trail with a bit of stones on the foot. This anatomical toe box here is a nod to Ultra. I think it's an interesting shift for Innovate to go that way as well. I actually really like that kind of fit. I think overall, if you, you know, are going to like this shoe, you're going to need to like a slightly firmer ride. If you're a fan of Innovates already, you'll be familiar with how these will feel underfoot. It is a very Innovate feel. Now, I spotted that the Trailfly G300 Max is on sale for 80 odd pounds. Uh, it's been a while since I laced that one up, but my instincts are here that that shoe probably right now represents a lot more value than perhaps this new one. And it's a shoe that some runners kind of might enjoy for a bit more cushioning. But as ever, I'll retain the kind of final verdict on the Innovate Trail Fly versus all the other shoes until we've put it through the proper test miles. So there you have it. That's been our first run look at the new Innovate Trail Fly. Hope you found it useful. Be sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell to hear when the full review of this shoe lands once we've done the testing. If you're looking for trail shoes right now, I'm popping a video up on screen that I think you should probably watch. It'll be a good one for you to go to next. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon on the Run Testers. Happy running, people.